God is relational, even within himself. He has always existed in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. This triune God exists in perfect harmony. He chose to create all things and pursued a relationship with his creation. When God created the world, he placed mankind as the caretaker over all the earth. He had an intimate relationship with the first couple. All was well between God and man, and all was well within mankind. All was well with creation, and all was well within themselves, having no pride or fear. They demonstrated their love for God through obedience to Him, living out His purpose by caring for creation. Then, in pride and selfishness, they chose to disobey God and pursued their own way. This broke their relationship with God. They became like a ship without an anchor, adrift on the sea. Brokenness replaced their right relationship with God, with mankind, with creation, and even within themselves. Pride and fear distorted their thinking. Death, disease, and decay entered the world. Since then, mankind has sought to restore all of those relationships to their original perfection. He has developed religious and philosophical systems in order to rectify his relationship with God. He has developed systems of government and organization to fix all the relationships with mankind. He has developed technologies to manage his environment in order to control creation. He has pursued all sorts of ways to be happy and peaceful and content within himself. The problem is, all these attempts have been unsuccessful. At best, these solutions have been imperfect or temporary. As finite beings, no human effort can establish a right relationship with an infinite God. Wars, divisions, and resentment still characterize human relationships. Mankind's relationship with creation has resulted in many advances, but often at the cost of damage to the environment. Pride and fear continue to lead to selfishness, self-delusion, inner turmoil, and dissatisfaction with life. Only God can restore these broken relationships, and He did so by sending God the Son to earth as a human. His name was Jesus, born of a virgin, he was both human and divine. He lived in Israel in the first century. In fact, history is divided into BC, before Christ, and AD, Anno Domini, or year of the Lord, because of his birth. During his time on earth, Jesus perfectly obeyed God the Father. He also perfectly followed the leadership of God the Holy Spirit. His perfect obedience makes him the first and the only person to have an unbroken relationship with God. Death entered creation as a result of the broken relationship with God and had been an unalterable feature of existence until Jesus. Because of his perfect relationship with God, Jesus did not deserve death, but he willingly subjected himself to death on behalf of all mankind. Jesus took mankind's disobedience and imperfection, and he offered them his obedience and perfection and life. God the Father demonstrated his acceptance of Jesus' sacrifice by raising him from the dead after three days. After his resurrection, Jesus remained on earth in a perfect and glorified body for 40 days before ascending to heaven. He told his followers that anyone who believed this good news and received this gift by faith would be given the right to become a child of God. These believers would then submit to God and show others the inward change that was taking place with the outward action of baptism. Their body would be completely submerged under water to show that they were dying to their old and broken way of life. They would then be pulled up out of the water to show that they had been born again to a new life in God. These believers 
would now live a new life of faith, obeying all that Jesus taught and commanded while teaching others to do the same. He promised that once they received this gift of new life, they would be giving God the Holy Spirit to live within them and guide them and enable them to obey God. After receiving these gifts, people can begin the journey towards the full restoration of the original perfection that God intended. Jesus promised that one day he would return again to the earth, this time not as a helpless child, but as a ruling king. He will judge the earth at that time. All who have loved and followed him, both the living and the dead, will be given new, perfect, eternal bodies. All of creation will be remade in perfection without decay or death. There will be no more tears or pain. All relationships with God, man, and creation and self will finally be made perfect. Unfortunately, those who have not chosen to love and follow God will be separated forever from Him in a place of even greater brokenness and destruction, reaping the full effects of their choice to pursue their own way. This will result in eternal suffering. Where would you say you are on your spiritual journey? Are you still living in brokenness and trying to figure out solutions on your own? Have you believed in Jesus' sacrifice, which enables people to be part of God's family? Have you joined God's family by submitting your life completely to Him in faith and obedience? Have you publicly shown this by being baptized after making this commitment? Do you share this good news with others so that they may also believe and follow Him? Do you equip those who believe to grow in their spiritual lives and equip them to help others grow in the same ways? If you are already part of God's family, go to zoomaproject.com to learn how to take your next steps on your spiritual journey.